So if we make an analogy between between our life and a um, successful athlete, life and uh, a successful athlete, we know if if an athlete you want to win a Olympic game, you want to gain your victory, triumph, you have to experience very hard training. And uh, in your training process, it must be very, not even just embarrassment or painful and also suffering. It's the same. If you treat life as an how to be a good athlete to to win the Olympic gold medal. So we encourage people to experience suffering, hardships and pain. In Christian, this is called be persecuted. And for what? For for some truth. We cannot do this. We cannot agree this. You have to persist on what is right. And you will get what? You will get somebody put stress on you. Put your stress on you. This is the persecution. This is the persecution. So if I am right, or other many history people were right, then just do it. You have to experience the persecution. We can find many Bible verses to support this idea, this point of view. But this is a little abstract. In Bible, they are all too abstract about not even Christ himself, he, he get hanged and he get crucified and be picked up by, by, by who knows what, lift up to the sky. And also in Bible it mentioned of Paul, and Paul is be decapitated decapitated, beheaded, beheaded. They rarely mentioned about how how the saint resurrects. How the saint resurrects. It's too abstract. So normally people will will have fear of facing the persecution. But if it's right after the persecution, you will get your victory and triumph. This is the rule. This is the rule. But but this is too abstract. Normally, people just just withdraw, just frightened. This is too abstract. <laughs>